What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video on the channel. And as you can see, we've got the new Red Cat Valkyrie MT out today. So I just got this truck. I ordered it directly from Red Cat's website. When I got this, um, I noticed that the seal on the box was already broken. And that's because, just so everybody knows, they are already including the new shocks in these cars. So you don't have to worry about if you buy one, if you're gonna have to have it replaced or if you have to contact them to have it shipped out to you, they're already putting them in the boxes. I wanted to see if these shocks that are on here were going to have a problem already or if I should just go ahead and put the new ones on that they included. So let's go ahead and see what these have on here right now. If these are just popped in or if they're screw ons. Let's see here if this pops off, if it screws off or if it's not. And this looks like this is one of those ones that's not going to. Yep. So this one right here is one of them that doesn't screw off. I know some people got fortunate and they got a mix of threaded and non-threaded. Ah, see, right here. Here's one that's threaded. You can see it. So this one's good. Sounds like there's oil in it, but let's just make sure that there is actually some oil in these. I'm gonna try to run, run this as stock as possible to begin with. Yeah, they got oil in it. All right. That's good. So I'm gonna leave this stock as stock as possible. I always like to run the cars the way that they are stock first before I start making adjustments, but let's just see. Alright, let's see. This one feels like it's not threaded. We got nothing. This one is another one that just would pop out. Alright. Let's see what we got. Yep, yeah, that one just spins to. All right, y'all. So there's the three that that weren't any good. It's a shame though because they're brand new. I think I find something that I can use these on. Something that I'm not gonna be bashing as much. So um, I'm gonna keep them anyways. Put them on something. But uh, yeah, this one, this car is definitely for bashing. So it wouldn't have worked out leaving these on here for what I'm gonna be doing. It is a real shame what I'm about to do to this body because it really does look good. I do really like the way that this looks on here and I'm digging the red. The red is popping a little bit more on camera but I do like the red. It's real, it's, it's heavy too. It's got some weight to it, which I kind of like as well. But um, yeah man, this is, Nice 4S rig. Clean in there, guys. So, very, very much looking forward to taking this thing out right now and, and giving it a bash. I think it's going to be so awesome. So, um, let me go ahead and get this thing set up, guys. And I'll be right back. Here's something I wanted to show you guys real quick. There's the OG Kaiju and the Red Cat um, Valkyrie. And as you can see, it's it's about the same length width wise not really width wise it's the the kaiju still has it width wise but even with the extenders i have on the kaiju but <laughs> length wise i mean it's even just a tidbit longer yeah 
wheel to wheel, it's about the same. So, <laughs> just to give you an idea of actually how big this thing is, the Kaiju is considered 8th scale, the Valkyrie is considered 10th scale, but it's not a big difference. Again, I do have extenders on the Kaiju, and the width of the tires are a little bit bigger than the stock ones, but hey. <laughs> That's uh, that's crazy. All right, so we are out here at our usual bash spot. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my battery in. Just wanted to show you guys, I did get these little tethers here to put on here. It makes it easier to pull these things off because they were extra tight. I have my China Hobby Line uh, hard case purple series 100C 6200 milliamp battery it's 4s red cat there's something i wish red cat honestly all companies that are using these straps still can y'all please give us some longer ones like it's not necessary to to give us this little piece of velcro sorry this little piece of hook and loop system don't call it velcro the company velcro might come after you if you call this velcro it's their hook and loop system. If you don't believe me, there's a whole YouTube video. You can check out the stupid song they made for it. But anyways, could you give us some longer straps? That's what I'm asking for. <laughs> anyway, let me get it hooked up and uh, get this thing running and we'll get going. Ooh. We got balloonage. There's a whole basketball court. I should go up there and see what's actually up there for once. One day. I am in a little bit of wet grass. It's got some good power though. Oh, oh, gotta adjust the brakes though. Uh -oh. Take it a little easy here. Just get a feel for it. All right, that was not a little easy. I was not on that very hard. I was only on that about maybe even half throttle. Wow. That's impressive. It's so funny because I'm really not even on it. I had to get on it at the end to save it there, but Getting some backflips in. I feel bad for this body. I really don't think this body's gonna last long. I mean, not that it's bad quality, just. It's what happens with me and uh, RC cars. There's some decent flight there. All right, let's see what it does now. <laughs> Need some thicker shock fluid. Whatever came in here 
stock is not to my liking anyway. Feel terribly hot. No, nah, it's not hot. Hot. Okay. Um. Let's see. All right. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye on if that happens again. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that was about. But the motor doesn't feel hot, and uh, it's not a hot day today. It's actually probably about, uh, it's actually in the 70s right now. It's not terrible hot. I am in some thicker stuff, but like I said, the motor's not hot, so. All right, let's come back over here, get some more. Ooh, all over the place there. Ooh out of it and it's a you know a hobby wing max 10 esc in here so shouldn't be esc shouldn't be getting hot either I did it again. I'm glad it wasn't on that last jump. I just did it again. Battery came loose anyway. Fans on, fans on, but clearly. not doing well so the ESC was hot and like I said I am running in some thicker stuff yes it's not a hot day though other possible culprits is maybe my C rating on my battery is too high maybe I shouldn't run 100 C on this maybe I should go lower maybe I should run an 80 It could also be the connector I'm using. I have a EC5 to a XT90 connector. So I did change the connector. So I did notice that mine, the one I was using is a little beat up and has seen better days. So I got a different connector I keep with me in, the, in my bag. Oh. Yeah, see, like I said, body's already got some creases in it. Awful hit. How that took it, not sure. That's impressive, though. That came off the jump all wrong. Trying to get a far away shot, and that just did not... The, the run up did not work out much better <laughs> nicely done one more good launch off of this and then I'm going to go run it in the parking lot a little bit see how it does on some asphalt <laughs> oh Man. There we go. All right, let's go to the parking lot. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh, yeah, definitely got to adjust the brakes. Got to adjust the suspension. But it runs pretty good out here, man. It's got enough power. For what it's for, I think it's good. And I think I got done with this just in time. I think I just hit LVC. So overall, what do I think? Well, I think it's a fun truck. I think it looks good. Although you can see I've I've creased the body some, but some of those were some hard hits. So the fact that nothing is really ripped or tore up on the body, I think is is a good. Uh, that's an A. That's an A in my book. Um, durable. It seems very durable. You saw some of the hits that I took. Um, it nothing's broken that I can tell. I have to give this thing a really good um, cleanup. I wonder if those hits would have well i shouldn't say i wonder i definitely know that those hits would have broken the shocks that were on here so i'm glad to see that red cat gave us the other shocks so we can do stuff like what i just did with this um so i'm glad that those worked out those other ones definitely would not have taken the punishment that i just uh, put this thing through um i do need to do some work with the suspension i do also need to adjust the brakes um, the brakes are a little hard for me right now, but um, I don't like how it lands so hard in the rear. I'm gonna put some thicker shock fluid in here and see how that'll help. I'm not sure what comes in here. I have to double check that, but whatever it is, I want it to make I want to make it thicker. Um, and then I gotta figure out why it was cutting out on the throttle. It's not like I said, it's not a hot day today. Um, I know that it could have been the connector. It could be just the, the C rating on the battery is too high. I don't know. Um, I think this is 120 amp ESC. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it is. So, not sure. The motor didn't seem like it was hot. The ESC, when I did touch it, did seem hot. So, I'm thinking it's an ESC issue. Um, and not like it's an issue with the actual ESC. It just might be me. I have to do something different with it make sure I use the right connector. Obviously, every time you have a connector heat, like connected to the battery, to the ESC, and it's not directly connected, there can be some heat issues there. So that could be it. It did seem to run better when I used a different connector, so it could have just been my connector. Um, but anyways, I'll try to figure that out, probably run a different battery next time and see how much more fun I can have. But overall, I'm not upset. I'm not upset with the performance. I will also say I do like the controller. I do like the improvements that they have made with the controller. This felt really good in my hand, and I do like how this is angled now a little bit. So I, I, I'm, I'm impressed with the controller as well. But um, overall, not a bad first run, guys. I'm not disappointed, but I'll be honest and say I'm not like overly thrilled. Like I will say the Rolalo um, that I got a couple weeks ago put more of a smile on my face than this than this did. So. Maybe I'll give it another run to see what happens, guys. But uh, right now, I'm not disappointed. So don't. I'm not saying that, but it's just not. I don't know. I can't really describe. It's not like giving me that. Oh my goodness! I want to run it again right away. Go home, charge my battery, and come back out like other cars do. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it cleaned up. Make sure everything is still good. Nothing's broken. Nothing's cracked. I'm gonna get another battery and I'm gonna get it out here on a more of a dry day because that could also have been put in a hamper on some of the fun I was having and then uh, see how I feel at that point. Um, I might change the tires too. I don't know. I do like the way that they look on here. I don't know if I'm a big fan of how they perform. So maybe I might do that too um, and see what I got guys. But Anyways, that's going to be a wrap for this video. If you do like this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.